You could wake up in New York, grab a bagel for breakfast, hop on a train, and by lunchtime, you'd already be in London enjoying fish and chips. What sounds like every tourist dream could be a reality soon. Right now, traveling between these two cities usually takes about eight endless hours by plane. But a high-speed train zipping through a massive transatlantic tunnel could make the same journey in just 54 minutes. The plan is to construct this train beneath the Atlantic Ocean, so the stations would look like those trendy underwater restaurants. Not only would you get to Europe in record time, but you wouldn't have to deal with jet lag or feel sick from turbulence. So far, this mega project sounds amazing, but can we really pull this off? Well, that's the million dollar question. Actually, it's more like a 20 trillion dollar question. That's how much this train and its futuristic underwater stations would cost. It's hard to imagine anyone having enough money to construct it, so specialists thought it was out of the question. But people started feeling hopeful again when Elon Musk dropped this announcement. He said not only is this kind of transportation possible, but his company could make it happen for a thousand times less than everyone thought. Traveling between New York and London in less than an hour means the train would have to hit a jaw-dropping speed of 3,000 miles per hour. Yep, 3,000. That's about five times faster than the cruising speed of a commercial airplane like a Boeing 747. So, how is this even possible? Well, it's not an average tunnel. We're talking about a vacuum-sealed tube underwater, which cuts out air resistance letting trains zip through at insane speeds. And it's not just any train. It's more like a high-tech aerodynamic capsule that levitates and moves thanks to magnetic propulsion. At least that's what experts think, since this kind of technology is already in use today with the fastest public train in the world, the Shanghai Maglev. This machine runs in China and hits a top speed of 186 miles per hour. What's crazy is that its locomotives are not even touching the tracks. They're literally levitating and floating just about 0.4 inches above the ground. This line takes people from Shanghai to Pudong International Airport, so travelers don't have to worry about traffic and can get to their flights super fast. This cutting-edge technology makes a 19-mile trip take just 8 minutes and 10 seconds. With a regular train, that same journey would be about four times longer. Back in 2001, people worked hard over two years to construct the maglev train, and they also spent a lot of money, as the whole project cost over a billion dollars. Despite that crazy initial price tag, keeping this line running is not as expensive as it might seem. It's actually cheaper to operate than regular trains. Since the maglev doesn't touch the tracks, that means a lot less wear and tear and way lower maintenance costs. On top of that, its propulsion system is impressively energy efficient. As we've already mentioned, this is the fastest operational train in the world. But China isn't stopping there. They're likely to break their own record soon, having already unveiled a prototype of their next generation train, the CR450. This sleek silver bullet had reached test speeds as high as 281 miles. If this project comes to life, I mean, if people really start using it on a daily basis, it will be a game changer for high-speed rail. And it could shrink the journey between Beijing and Shanghai to less than three hours. That's like one hour less than what people take when traveling on today's high-speed train. Now the team just needs to run a couple more tests to ensure it meets all necessary standards for commercial operations. This car looks like a Batmobile, and it's probably just as powerful. Say hello to the amazing Koenigsegg Jesko Absolute. Its sleek, futuristic design isn't just for show. Every detail on this machine was crafted to cut through air with precision reducing drag and turbulence while boosting its high-speed performance. Experts ran the first computer simulations, and the Jesco Absolute hit an astonishing 311 miles per hour. But the team is positive that it can go even faster. This beast comes close to the cruising speed of small jets, and because of that, it smashed all records and became the fastest car in the world.
When you visit the Coventry Transport Museum in England, you'll come face to face with a terrestrial vehicle that looks more like a rocket than a car. Meet the Bloodhound LSR. It's been on display since 2019, right after hitting 628 miles per hour during tests in South Africa's Kalahari Desert. But the team behind this vehicle isn't satisfied just yet, and they're 99% sure they can go even faster. So they're planning to bring it back to the track soon, aiming to smash another record. But there's a catch. The team is still looking for a fearless, skilled pilot who can handle speeds over 800 miles per hour. And before you rush to sign up for the challenge, let me remind you, it's going to take more than just guts. You will need a major sponsorship deal too, because getting back this vehicle on the track and breaking that land speed record could cost around $15 million. If you're curious about the fastest jets in the world, look no further. Meet the North American X-15, a legendary aircraft that flew for nearly 10 years and set an unofficial world speed record of 4,520 miles per hour. This beast is so impressive that it actually reached the edge of space during its test flights in the 1960s. Yep, astronauts' territory. To put that into perspective, commercial airplanes, like the ones we fly in, usually travel at altitudes of up to 42,000 feet, but the X-15 soared more than 354,000 feet. Now, imagine flying faster than ever before, zooming through the sky at over five times the speed of sound. That's exactly what NASA did with this revolutionary aircraft, known as the X-43A. This airplane is scramjet powered, which basically means it's an engine that operates at a supersonic level. I mean, it doesn't have any moving parts like regular jet engines do, like turbines. Instead, it uses the plane's speed to push air into the engine. The air gets compressed or squished by the plane's fast motion, then mixed with fuel and burned to produce thrust. For non-experts, this might seem crazy, even dangerous. In fact, we should mention that the first flights of the X-43A weren't exactly smooth sailing. The initial attempt happened back in June of 2001, but the airplane was destroyed after the booster rocket went out of control. Thankfully, the second and third attempts were a huge success, with record-breaking flights that made history. I know elevators aren't the first thing that comes to mind when we think about super-fast means of transportation, but it's only thanks to ultra-modern high-speed elevators that skyscrapers as tall as the Burj Khalifa and Taipei 101 became accessible. One of the fastest elevators in the world is located in the Shanghai Tower in China, which has 128 floors. To get people from the ground floor to the top of the building quickly, the elevator has to move at an incredible speed of 67 feet per second. That's faster than Usain Bolt at his top speed, but just a little slower than a cheetah. Still, it is super fast, about five times quicker than the elevators we ride in most buildings. So if you're afraid of heights, speed, and tight spaces, we suggest you avoid going that far. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.